Hey guys, Duke here, and today I'm going to be making a one-stop shop guide to all of the most important materials in Destiny 2. I've made quite a few detailed guides about different materials and how to get them, but I've realized that the game doesn't do a good job with just explaining the basics of what materials are in the game and what they are used for. So this guide is going to do just that. The materials that I'm going to go over today are Glimmer, Legendary Shards, Bright Dust, Silver, Upgrade Modules, Enhancement Cores, Enhancement Prisms, and Ascendant Shards. First, we have the most common and one of the most important resources in the game, Glimmer. You can hold a maximum of 250,000 Glimmer at one time. Glimmer is acquired from many sources, such as just killing enemies in the world, as well as completing activities and opening chests. You will also get Glimmer from dismantling things, such as weapons and armor. An NPC in the Tangled Shore, Spider, also will allow you to convert certain materials to Glimmer as well. The material that Spider requires to convert into Glimmer changes every day, so be sure to check him often. Glimmer is used to upgrade both your weapons and armor through masterworking, to equip and change different mods, and to buy other, more rare materials from both Spider and Banshee. Legendary Shards are another common and very important currency in Destiny 2. Legendary Shards have no cap as to how many you can have at a time. They are acquired from dismantling legendary or exotic armor and weapons, as well as a small amount coming from the Season Pass. The Season Pass also has a bonus that gives you an additional Legendary Shard when dismantling Legendary or Exotic gear, which adds up a lot in the long run, as it is basically a 33% increase on your Legendary Shards, going from 3 to 4 when breaking down your gear. And trust me, you will get a lot of Legendary gear as you continue to play and level up your character. Bright Dust is a currency that allows you to buy certain rotating items from the Eververse store. Eververse is the mostly cosmetic store where you can get things like emotes, shaders, ghosts, ships, sparrows, ornaments, and much more. Bright Dust can be acquired in a number of ways, such as weekly seasonal challenges, the season pass, weekly vendor challenges, and repeatable bounties from Zavala, Shax, and Drifter, and rarely as well from Eververse engrams. Many items end up being available eventually for Bright Dust, but not all. And on top of that, Bright Dust tends to be a difficult to maintain resource, especially if you buy a lot of different items with it from Eververse. That is where Silver can come into play. Silver is the other Eververse related resource, but while Bright Dust is only earnable through in-game activities, Silver is only acquirable with real money. This can allow you to get some of the cosmetics that are only viable with Silver or that you do not have enough Bright Dust for. Just remember that you will never be able to get every single cosmetic in the game without spending literally thousands and thousands of dollars, so just be responsible with what you can afford. Upgrade modules are used to do what the name implies, upgrade your gear. These can be used on both armor and weapons in order to infuse other, higher level gear from the same slot. For example, if you have a 1300 power kinetic weapon and a 1310 power kinetic weapon, but you prefer to use the 1300 weapon and don't much care for the 1310, you can infuse it, along with an upgrade module to make the 1300 weapon into a 1310 weapon. The easiest way to get upgrade modules is to buy them from Banshee. He sells them daily for 1 enhancement core, 10 legendary shards, 5000 glimmer, and 25 of a rotating planetary material. A quick note about planetary materials, you can get these from adventuring on the specific planets they are from, along with some in the Season Pass, as well as buying them directly from Spider for Glimmer or Legendary Shards, depending on his daily offerings. There are also two other ways to get upgrade modules. First, there are a number of them for getting to different levels on the Season Pass. The second way is by using specific Ghost Mods. On the final, fourth mod slot in your Ghost, you will have an Activity Ghost Mod slot. There are a set of mods called Modularity Mods, that can go into this slot, which give you a chance to be awarded an upgrade module directly from Crucible wins, Gambit wins, and Playlist or Nightfall Strike completions respectively. If you are low on upgrade modules and are running these activities anyway, this can be a great way to get some extras while playing what you are going to be playing anyway. Next we are going to talk about Enhancement Cores. Enhancement Cores can be earned in a multitude of ways, such as, but not limited to, deleting legendary gear, Gunsmith and Spider Bounties, Hawthorne's Weekly Clan XP Challenge, Higher Level Lost Sectors, and can also be purchased directly from Spider. 
Just like with upgrade modules, there is also a ghost mod that allows you to get more enhancement cores from Crucible through precision final blows, Gambit through defeating invaders, and strikes from defeating bosses. Enhancement cores are used to masterwork level both your weapons and your armor, as well as to buy upgrade modules as mentioned earlier, and can additionally be used to purchase enhancement prisms, which we will talk about in a bit. Masterworking both your armor and weapons allows you to get some bonus stats along the way, with armor masterworking specifically giving you more energy capacity, which allows you to slot more and higher cost armor mods onto your armor. Masterworking your weapons will give you more and more of the masterwork stat as you upgrade it all the way to a max of 10. Maxing weapons to masterwork 10 will also allow them to drop orbs for you and your teammates when getting double kills with a masterworked weapon. And adept weapons specifically give a bonus to every non-impact stat when fully masterworked. Adept weapons can currently only drop from going flawless in trials or completing Grandmaster Nightfalls, but should also be available from the master version of Vault of Glass in a few months, as well as future master raids and dungeons. Going back to armor masterworking though, you will also need enhancement prisms and ascendant shards in order to masterwork your armor all the way to a max of 10. Enhancement prisms can be acquired from multiple sources, with nightfalls, especially higher level nightfalls, being the best and most efficient way to get them. Enhancement prisms can also be bought from the gunsmith for 10 enhancement cores, 10,000 glimmer, and a rotating 25 planetary materials. There are also a number of cores and prisms that can be earned throughout ranking up both Valor in Crucible and Infamy in Gambit. Just like with modules and cores, there is also a ghost mod that can be equipped to earn more enhancement prisms as well, requiring the precision final blows in Crucible, defeating invaders in Gambit, and defeating bosses in Strikes, just like with enhancement cores. You can hold a maximum of 50 total enhancement prisms in your inventory, along with 50 in each character's Postmaster, but just be aware that any saved in the Postmaster can easily be lost if you don't keep up on your inventory management. It will cost 3 total enhancement prisms to get your legendary armor fully masterworked, and 5 enhancement prisms for an exotic armor piece. Lastly, we have Ascendant Shards. Ascendant Shards are the most expensive and rarest important material in Destiny 2. Just like with enhancement prisms, the best way to go about getting these is going to be in high level nightfalls, with Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls being the only nightfalls to directly drop Ascendant Shards. Going Flawless in Trials and opening the Lighthouse Chest is another way to get a direct Ascendant Shard as a drop. The Season Pass also has a couple Ascendant Shards scattered throughout, and both Shax and Drifter both have one each season for your first full rank reset. Finally, the Gunsmith also sells Ascendant Shards at a price of 10 Enhancement Prisms, 50,000 Glimmer, and 100 of a rotating planetary material. The Ascendant Shard cap is 10 in your inventory, and can also hold 10 per Postmaster, just like Enhancement Prisms, but again be careful to not let your inventory clog up too much for them to get pushed out. It will cost you 1 Ascendant Shard to fully masterwork a piece of Legendary gear, or 3 Ascendant Shards to fully masterwork an Exotic. Thank you for watching my guide to all of the most important materials in Destiny 2. I hope this video helped as a clear and concise one-stop shop for learning about the different currencies there are. If you enjoyed, a like and comment, and a sub if you are new is always appreciated. And as always, have a wonderful day.